everybody, welcome tonight. I'm Pam Clift. I am your MC tonight for our Tupperware cooking class, Cooking with Tupperware and Champion. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. I'm super excited because we have several chefs. We have three chefs tonight and five recipes or something like that. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And so as we get started tonight, I want to remind you of a few uh, fun things that we do is we want you to register right on the chat right here, right underneath me. Uh, just go ahead and put in there that your name and who you're a guest with and if you're a guest or a host because we do host drawings and we do guest drawings during the night and we certainly want you to get a chance the, as many chances to win as possible and so as the night goes on we're going to do trivia and then we do a random draw after the trivia so everybody has a chance to win not just the person that got the trivia first it's hard for us to tell who actually puts it in first and sometimes the algorithms will mix it up which part between people uh, from, from what you're seeing and what I'm seeing. So we don't want anybody upset that they put it in first and we give the gift to somebody else. So we just do a random draw. But it is fun to say, hey, you got the trivia. On our side, looks like you got it first, but there's no gift involved with trivia. Trivia is for fun. All right. And so we're going to get it started right away. Um, again, we have three chefs tonight. Um, and one of the fun things is uh, at Champion, you get to be a chef when you um, uh, choose to, if, you, if it's your thing, if you love the demo and you love to show off product, we certainly want to have you on our team and you can help us do our chef trainings as well. So this is one of our chef cooking classes tonight. We invite you to bring your guests on here, your hostesses on here, and we'll help them connect and stay connected to you because we want them to know that you are their Tupperware lady. We're just demonstrators tonight, all right? And so as we get it started, we want you to know that there's all kinds of ways to join our business, and we're going to share those tonight. We've got all kinds of recipes. we got some phenomenal products and some really good sales. And so if you're with a party tonight, get ready to be impressed with some yummy food and yummy recipes. And if you're just viewing us tonight because you uh, know about the cooking show and you like to jump on every single Tuesday night, remember we're here every single Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, Cookie with Tupperware and Champion. And so we're going to turn it over to our first chef. <coughs> Tickle my throat. But before we turn it over to our first chef, we have trivia for you. What is the most popular edible flower? Because this is red, white, and Bloom, all right. So, what is the most popular edible flower? So, figure that one out. Put it in the chat and see who can guess it first. Okay. And we're Hello. Okay. I've already got. I've already unmuted myself. I'm always worried about that. Hello. I've been told that I need to be quick, so I'm going to be as quick as I can. Tonight, we're going to make a red, white, and blue trifle, and I am going to be using my ice prism bowl. This is. Uh, one of the, this is the largest bowl from the hostess rewards for this month. And you definitely want to get that because it's beautiful. And wait till you see how this trifle looks in it. It looks great. But this is going to be relatively sugar-free, not completely sugar-free though. So I am starting off, I have three cups of skim milk in my whip and mix. And I'm using the large package of sugar-free vanilla instant pudding and we're going to get that going real quick so that um so that can set while i show you some of the other things but uh this whip and mix is amazing because i don't have to grab out my mixer which is always nice my mixer is a little too uh high in my cupboard for me to reach so i always have to get sarah or glenn to grab it for me but this is not because it's always handy and this goes right in here you can get this Actually, I have a whole bunch of the things that you can get for um, $45 when you become either a consultant like me or a VIP shopper. So do you want, if you want 25% um, off of all your Tupperware orders for the next year, um, you can talk to your consultant about how to do that. And you will get this whip and mix as well as this entire set of bowls that I'll be using tonight. And my beverage container of choice, one of the Eco Plus cups. So I want to get my pudding going and set that aside. Doesn't take a heck of a lot. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks mixed up, but I'm going to let it go a couple more times and let it set while we start assembling our trifle. Now, 
in this one that this is the largest of the impression bowls the reason i love these they all fit inside each other if you have room for this bowl you have room for the whole set and here i I've, I've already diced up some angel food cake now i just bought this at the bakery at walmart and i bought it in a loaf instead of the bunt because it's just easier it was easier for me to cut also it's easier for what i'm going to do next i lined the i put my bottom layer of angel food cake in there already but now we're gonna break out our non-traditional baking tool. And that is my star for my, my star for my shape of ball. And I washed this for you so that you don't gotta worry about that. Plus it was never played with by children, but I did wash it because it's not really, you know, for food. And I'm using this as a cookie cutter because I wanted small stars and my cookie cutter is enormous. But when you do it with a shape toy, because it's not a cookie cutter, you do want to have a toothpick or something sharp handy to pop it out of there. So you're going to look, you're going to be amazed by how adorable these are, but just stick it in the top of the star and pop it out. And look at that. Adorable. These are going to go around the outside of my bowl and make it beautiful. And with this type of, um, of cake, I can put two per slice. I just cut, I cut about six of these thin slices, a little thinner than my cubes that I put inside. And these pieces, don't waste them. Just toss them into your bowl. They're fine. They don't have to be all cubes. They can be whatever shape you want. And there we go. There's our second little star. I think I broke his tip, tip a little bit. Oh no, he's good. I got to go the opposite. Okay. So that's how we're making our star shapes. Now to our trifle. My hands are angel foodie. We don't want angel foodie hands. Um, so I've got my, my angel food cake in there. I'm going to layer in some Cool Whip. This is sugar-free Cool Whip that I'm using this way. And then pudding. And then I'm going to put my fruit in. And I want to tell you about my fruit. I went to Sam's Club and got some strawberries. You know how you always look for the ones that are in the best shape? Not me, I looked for the ones that were slightly overripe because I wanted them to be for now. I didn't want them to be for, you know, later in the week. So I did get the overripe strawberries, but that's all right. And let's see how our pudding's doing. I always, I always save my lid to set my whip and mix my little beaters on there. Oh yeah, it's perfect. So if you don't have, spatula you need more than one look at that it's very well set it doesn't take any time at all i'm gonna put a layer of this in there and then we're gonna get our um some fruit and i want to just show you one more little kitchen tip with our fruit all right so i've got my blueberries all washed this is the smallest of the impressions bowls that come with that with that um, super special set that they've got. I'm gonna put these around the outside. You can put some in the middle too. This is giving us our blue. We want red, white, and blue, right? We're getting some blue with this. If you don't like blueberries, you don't have to put blueberries in there. Put something else. I'm doing blueberries. There we go. Now, the strawberries. This is where I wanted to jump to next. I came over there. Now I did chop up most of my strawberries already, but if you have never done this this way, this is the Tupperware egg slicer. It's not always available. When it is, grab yourself one. But I wanna show you how quickly I was able to chop up these strawberries. This is two pounds of strawberries. I already took the hulls out and I want them to look like little hearts. Look at that one and done. And I want to just show you how precious they are. They are little, I got them in little heart shapes because I put them in that way. Doo, doo, doo. There you go. So watch how fast it takes me to top, top up four strawberries. That one didn't come out. And four. I did two pounds in about 15 minutes, not even. And that's including washing them. But if you don't have an egg slicer, grab an egg slicer when they become available. But back to my trifle. 
I'm gonna put some strawberries in there and I'm gonna put them along the side so that all those little heart shapes show in whenever I put my, whenever I put the rest of the, the next layers on, I'm gonna put them in a row and I will continue layering. I'm gonna put my stars in here along the side as well. I'm gonna continue layering and you're gonna come back to me in a minute to see how it turns out and how beautiful it is. This is for my church picnic tomorrow, so it's gotta be good. I want everybody to be like, I want to, I want Robin Vanderwagen to come to every picnic. So that's <laughs> it, Pam. I'm sure they do want you at every picnic. All right. Thank you, Robin. That was a great demo. We're going to come back and see it when she's got more of it put together. How fun. Did you love that uh, little strawberry slicer? I use that for eggs for my salad too. Got to pay attention. We bring those back from time to time. And so... So did anybody guess the trivia question? What's the most popular, the most popular, most common edible flower? Who guessed it? Did anybody guess it, Jenny? Okay. Well, the number one most popular edible flower is the honeysuckle. And how many of you were kids and your parents taught you how to pull the honeysuckle and get that little dab of honey out of the bottom of the honeysuckle? Of course, they smell so good, right? Well, that is the most popular edible flower. And good thing, I ate it all my life, all right? Uh, but there's a lot of other ones too. And we're gonna hear more trivia questions about flowers later uh, all the way through the, grid, the program. Right now we wanna do a drawing. So Jessica, how many guests do we have on so far? Um, hi everybody, we have 14. All right. And so, hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and 14. Here's a number between one and 14. It's two. Number two. All right. Number two is Patty with Debbie Morris. Congratulations, Patty. Patty, congratulations. And Debbie and Patty, make sure I get your address, Patty, so that I can send you free Tupperware. And you message me at Pamela Matheny Clift on Messenger. And that's the easiest way for me to make sure all the addresses are in the same place and I can make sure I miss nobody. All right. And so one of the cool things about our cooking show is giving away free Tupperware. And so if you haven't registered yet, go ahead and put underneath this picture right here that your name and who you're a guest here with. And so we can get you in on the drawings as well. Now, also, if you're a host, put there that you are a host. So we could do our host drawing because that's a separate drawing for host only. And you'll have a little bigger piece of Tupperware when you win that one. OK, you know, Tupperware is so cool. And we have a try and see program with Tupperware, and I don't know if you're familiar with it. So we want to make sure everybody knows if you're seeing a lot of things you want tonight, we do have this amazing offer for you to try and see our program out, our company out. And there's three options on that. There is a try and see that is only $25, and it gives you 25% everything for a year. There's another try and see that's, 65, uh, that's $45, and that is going to give you over $100 worth of Tupperware. Uh, I believe that she mentioned you do get this set of bowls. You also get this tumbler in that, and then you also get this product in that, and that's called the Whippet. All three of those, over $100 worth of Tupperware that you get for only $45. And then the best try and see that I would highly recommend is all of this, which is $119. Your, your cost is $119. The retail is actually um, $450. It does not include the whippet, okay? But it does include all these other little pieces and including, oh, it includes this. this it does include the whippet, all right? But it does include the power shop and also the mini chopper. Also the three-piece bowl set. Also, we're gonna get this gorgeous bag to carry it everything in. I don't know if it all fits in there, but it might. It does, okay, it does. Um, yeah, Johnny told me it does, you know how. <laughs> Everybody has a Johnny, right? And then we also have a sampling of all of our favorite products. Now, I will tell you the Fridge Smart, I highly recommend that you check out those Fridge Smarts because right now you can get the Fridge Smarts, buy one, get one free, like a whole set. It's a crazy awesome deal. And so if you don't need them all, which you do, um, you can certainly split it with a girlfriend. However, I'll tell you, the Fridge Smart are amazing. And they have the bottoms that are ridged and so that it holds its produce up out of its own moisture. Nobody wants to lay in their own moisture, right? And then you also have a nice firm size to make sure that none of the fruits get bruised and smashed when they put it in the crisp drawer. And then you also have the venting system. The venting system is designed to let the gases escape because all fruits and vegetables have gases. And as they ripen, the gases get more and more, their guests get more and more potent and they will rot their own skin. 
And so you want to get rid of the gases and never hold it next to, you know, like in a plastic bag, it would just capture those gases and it brought their skin and they go bad on you much, much faster. The, uh, the, this amazing product, the Fridge Smart, is designed to make sure your vegetables last you, fruits and vegetables last you two to three times longer. I love it because I'm a salad girl. I eat a salad every single day for lunch. And we go through a ton of salad. We buy the great big fresh smart to fill it full with the mixed grains. And every single week, we buy it again and buy it again. And you know what? It lasts the entire time. It lasts for me all week and into the next week if I didn't eat it all. I also will tell you, one of the things that will blow your mind is the strawberries. <laughs> because strawberries, if you last three or four days in the refrigerator, you know, you're thinking that's lucky. Because they are, they just don't last. They go bad super fast. And it's because we were storing them wrong. You put your strawberries down on the top side of here and they will last an easy eight to 10 days, sometimes two weeks. And they just are amazing. And it makes a huge difference in your blueberries, your blackberries, your berries, and of course, your broccoli. If you've ever had broccoli, you didn't know whether to feed it or eat it because it was gray and fuzzy. <laughs> I get that. Well, the broccoli, and it's a Tupperware promise, will last you 21 days. Fresh broccoli in your refrigerator, store it away, and put it away dirty. Uh, it will last you 21 days. And you're like, Excuse me, did she say to put it away dirty? I did. Because when you wash it, you wash off the inside that God put on there that makes it last a little bit longer. And also, the excess moisture does not help it stay fresh when you're locking it up in your fridge spot. So you want to put it away dry and dirty, all right? So as risky as we get on this show, all right? And then the other thing I want to tell you is you do get a sampling of our crystal wave, our beautiful breakfast maker, a fridge stuff, a freezer container, and a vent and service. It's a microwave container that looks like glass and two of our kitchen towels. This is the best deal. So if you want to try and see, we'd love to have you try and see our Tupperware business and get 25% off of anything you want for the next year and 35% off the new items that they bring out when we're doing sampling. And there's more because if you like it and you try it out and you want to stay with it, you can stay forever with no additional cost for you. However, there's no yearly fee or anything like that. If you like it and you don't like it, it doesn't matter if you chose the 65, the $45 set or the $119 set, which is $450, you get to keep it. We don't ask for it back. If you try and see, you're like, it's just not for me you get to keep it, all right? And so try and see, in my mind, is at least two to three, uh, two to three weeks, uh, two to three months. I like to see you do a cup, try to do a couple parties. If you're not going to do parties, you're going to do yourself for your own purchasing for yourself, that's fine too. But just know, whatever you feel is an honest try is what we're good with too. And so try and see, all right? And now it's time for us to turn it over to our next chef. And I believe our next chef is Jenny. And Jenny is one of our directors here at Tupperware. And uh, she's lucky tonight, she's in my kitchen. So come on off, Jenny. And what are you making for us tonight? Uh, the first thing I'm making is a granola parfait. All right, yeah, do it. Yeah. So I want, I, I've been doing this for like nine years and I love it, but about two years ago, they came out with one of my very favorite products and that is a truly elegant, it's like a whole set of we have the, the tumblers there's it goes with our cold brew um there's this round tray there's a whole set of bowls they're just beautiful they look like glass they go in the refrigerator and when they go outside they do not get broken so it's summer and you got a lot of things going on outside and the kids are home we know how all that goes so I've got some really simple things this evening for you to be able to do with the kids at home and they can really do it themselves. So this is just granola, just your basic granola. A lot of people make their own. This is um, actually blueberry granola and it smells amazing. I'm just gonna tell you right now. So we're just, I'm not gonna do all four of these. I am gonna do two of them though. Just put some granola in the bottom of the tumbler. And the thing about these are is they look so pretty. Okay, now Pam was talking about the fridge smarts. This is just plain yogurt, it's just white yogurt. Um, but you know, you can get creative with this depending on what you're doing and how old your kids are and what you want them to eat, or maybe if you're eating it. Um, this would be great with ice cream. I am not gonna lie, that sounds really good to me with ice cream. And um, but this is very healthy, right? 
So right now we have granola, we have plain yogurt, and of course you can use flavored yogurt depending on your preference. Okay, the fridge smarts. These fridge smarts are just amazing. And like this one, if you have strawberries and blueberries, which is what's in this, okay, and these blueberries are a good three week old. I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to put some of those in there. But as you can see, as they get lower in your refrigerator, you don't have to keep them in the big container. You can put them in a smaller container. And if they're in the same little family right here, they can share the container. So you can put the strawberries and the blueberries together. You can put different kinds of vegetables together as long as they are in the same little family, the same little, the same little condominium right here in that little square. So we're just gonna layer this. I'm just kind of loving it. And you can make these as large or as small as you want. You can use any kind of fruit you want. Um, like I said, you can put whipped cream on the top. You could put whipped cream all through it. You could use, there was another recipe I saw, had cheesecake pudding. There cannot be anything wrong with that. I'm telling you right now. So we're just going to put this in here. And this was just one container of yogurt and some of that granola. I'm gonna put some more fruit on there. And make the fruit a little bigger this time. See it off the top. Some of those strawberries on there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top it off <clears throat> with a little bit more yogurt, kind of like a sort of like whipped cream on the top, right? Look how good this would be. It's, it's just fresh, it's cool. It would be great for a day like today. It's so hot outside today. Okay, and we're going to put just a couple of bigger pieces of strawberry on there. Make it pretty. And sprinkle with some granola. You know, you could also do this if, if granola is not one of your things. I won't say that it's not mine, but it's not mine. Um, you could use crackers, you could use almost anything. But look how pretty that is. All you have to do is add one of our spoons or add any spoon. And we have these serving trays. So if you have four or five of them and you're going to take them outside, all you need to do is put it in our um, clearly elegant round tray and you can carry them all at once. It's fantastic and it's pretty. I just think it's pretty. So that is the first recipe. I am coming back later with something else, but I just thought these were beautiful and fun to make. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to move them out of your way since I'm here. <laughs> It's so nice to have in my, oh, it smells really good over here. <laughs> it's so nice to have her in my kitchen time. And so, you know what? How many of you really enjoy that parfait? It looks delicious. I'll let you know. <laughs> and so, our next trivia. Hmm, what should we ask? How about how many edible flowers are there in the world? How many edible flowers are there in the world? Hmm, that's a good question. I know of a couple in my backyard but I don't know about the world. Okay, so go ahead and answer in the chat. If it's wrong, who cares? If it's right, it's just fun. All right, and so Jessica, how many people do we have on right now? We have 24. All right, 24, woo -hoo. okay. And the number always climbs and jumps because people realize, wait, she's giving away free time. <laughs> right. So put your name in there and that you're a guest or if you're a host, put your name in there that you're a host and so we can make sure you get in on the host drawing as well. All right. And so as we continue, thank you, Jenny, and thank you, Robin, so far with two fun recipes. We will post those recipes in this chat as well. So you can come back and you'll find them posted here too. And so you make sure you get in on the recipes that you wish to have. And so next we have a three-star director. Her name is Amy, and you're going to really love her. She's a mommy of three. She's an amazing lady. And her three-star not her beautiful children, <laughs> all right? But you're gonna love her. So let's take it away, Amy. What are you making us tonight? Awesome, thanks, Pam. I'm making one of our favorites, um, and it is a salsa. So um, it's super simple, and that's actually what it's called. It's a simply, simply salsa. Um, I should be called super simple salsa, right? <laughs> 
because it is really simple. Um, but it is really delicious. And I'm using one of our favorite products too, that we use this um, probably, well, at least every day with something else, um, with doing either chopping or uh, like today we made the boys. I, I do have, for those of you that don't know me, I have three kids and um, they are six, 12 and 13. My 13 year old daughter is actually at church camp right now. So um, she is not home, but today my boys and I, we made um, some egg salad and we made it um, really easy in this uh, supersonic chopper. So you could do so many different things with the with this chopper. But tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make a favorite salsa. And um, it is, uh, this is one of our favorite products because it's so user-friendly. You don't have to know how to, um, how to cook. Like you don't have to have any experience at all to use this. And it saves you all kinds of time. Um, instead of you know sitting here and chopping all your stuff up, uh, you could just throw it all in here. Uh, they do recommend to uh, quarter if if you have a big onion um, to quarter the onion. I'm only using about a half onion. Um, I I can get carried away with onion, but my this is basically for my hubby, so um, he doesn't like a whole lot of onion. <laughs> so it is just a half of an onion. Um, and you can use this anywhere. So this is great for taking with you on, um, in your camper, maybe on a boat, maybe just um, if you have this, if you have the whole set is actually a system and you have the big one and then you have a little one. And so there's a lot of people that like to take the little one um, with them to restaurants and then you can chop up um, your food like for maybe a baby or um yeah, if somebody needs it chopped up finely, you can do that there, right? So anyway, I have in here my onion now, and I'm going to throw in my jalapeno, and I already, it's actually, I took this out of my freezer, okay, and I just let it sit, and this is from last year. This is a last year from my garden. I cleaned them all up, and I froze them um, in our freezer mates, and they are amazing. So um, if you garden, then you, we have some amazing tools for you, all right, to help you save money. So I'm actually using our Chef's Sears knife, and I went to the store, and I got some garlic, and it said elephant garlic, and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get that. So this is a really big piece of garlic, and normally I would put in here three cloves of garlic, but with this huge one, I only need one. All right, so I just chop off the one tip. I always chop that off and then it's really, really easy to just peel the skin off and then you just toss it right in there. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for now. Um, and we're gonna put some fresh cilantro. So Pam told you about these fridge marks. They are truly one of our best sellers. So, um, and it's a piece that I highly recommend. If you eat produce, if you buy produce, this is something that you, if you don't have, you need it in your kitchen to help you save money. All right, so um, on here, we do have the different um, herbs and vegetables on this side. And then this is the small one, this is the small size. So and the opposite side is just the fruits, all right? And this one is older. So on the new ones, we have that really cute, or really cute, <laughs> really cool QR code. All right, so that you can just scan it and then you know exactly what you need or how you need to um, store your, uh, your produce because it doesn't all want to store the same way. Um, and Pam told you about that. So it's pretty cool, right? All right, so I'm just going to, this is fresh fresh cilantro and I'm just kind of eyeballing it and tossing it right down inside all right and I always put my slider on the opposite side of the picture so that you can line it up all right um and no just put that in the sink <laughs> for right now so you you know how how to store that um, because there are little pictures on here, but sometimes they're kind of hard to see. Can you see that? 
the circles. So on here, the circles are lined up when they're on the opposite side. All right, so have in here our onion, our garlic, our pepper, and our fresh cilantro. So I'm gonna just pull it five times really quick, right? All right, so that was five times. And um, if you want it more diced, then you can um, absolutely uh, pull that cord a few more times, all right? But we, I'm gonna be putting more stuff in there. So we're going to just leave that for right now. All right, so I have in my medium, and this one has the, wait, where is it? Yeah, right there. This one has the QR code for you, all right? So this one is one of the newer ones. I have our limes in here and I, all right, I'm trying to, trying to get, you know, all the limes, they're not always the same. And so the ones that are more kind of squishy are going to be better, right? More juicy and to get the most of the juice out of there, more juice, then you just roll it and that helps break, break it up. But um, did you know that the zest of the lime has vitamin C in it. So that though that actually helps you and your immune system. So it's a immune booster, which is pretty cool. Um, it's also got uh, bone building calcium, which is another really good nutrient for you. And it's an anti-inflammatory, which hello, that's awesome too. So always use your zest. And I am showing you one of my favorites. And this is actually one of my boys' favorites as well, um, our Zest Impress. So you could absolutely just zest this right down. Okay, so I have the zester sitting on top of the press. Okay, so you could do that um, and then have it go down inside of here. So you don't have to worry about it getting all over the place or you could just take it and do it right over your container. All right, and zest it that way. So either way, it works. All right, and it smells really good. So fresh zest, and we're gonna, I'm actually gonna put all of this in there. And my hands are clean. I just washed them, so no worries here, right? Okay, so, and then we're gonna take our Chef Series knife again and just cut the lime and half. Oops. And whenever you put it in, you want to make sure that you are putting the juice sides down. All right. And check out. Okay. So let's, let me see if I can get this up here closer. All right. So you at home can see all that juice. All right. Let's just start a little bit. See, ready. There we go. Isn't that awesome? Look at all that juice. And it completely turns it inside out. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. And then you can um, save these. Um, and use them to help with your um, cleaning up your stainless steel. Did you know that? So isn't that awesome? I absolutely love our zest and press. And my boys, how I said my boys love it, they love it because they use it and they help grandma make lemonade every summer. It is one of their most favorite things to do with their grandma. Um, and they always, whenever they see, you know, the lemons are coming out, then it's time to make lemonade. All right, so we have in there our juice. Now we're gonna use a can of diced tomatoes. Okay, so I, the can has uh, a pull tab. And so normally a normal person wouldn't use a can opener on this, right? But um, let me just tell you, that is crazy sharp. So how many of you have pulled that off and cut yourself? I know I have, and my husband yelled at me because it was probably um, just two Christmases ago. I opened up, I was in a hurry. I'm like, it's fine. I'll just open it up real quick. And as soon as I opened that thing, I cut my hand, all right? Because um, it's so sharp. So you're gonna take our Tupperware can opener, okay? It comes like this. You're gonna open up. And so it's gonna look like a V and two, things right here, you're gonna just put that right in there. All right, and it's gonna lock in place. And then I like to, I like to 
roll it around like this, but, or you could just go like this. Okay. So, um, but I forget who it was. This is probably Pam that she just takes it and she just kind of like flings it around. And I'm like, I never how to do that. So I learned how to do that because it's fun. So anyway, now you're going to take these little beaks, All right, This one goes on the outside and this one, um, or this one goes on the inside and that one goes on the outside. So you're gonna just put it right on the edge and then you're just gonna lift right up. And this isn't sharp, so I'm not cutting myself on it. And this isn't sharp, so no one's cutting themselves on that. And this is absolutely clean. So I don't have to worry about it getting any food on top of that. And you're probably thinking diced tomatoes, a can of tomatoes. So let me tell you, one of my biggest critics, so someone that I, um, I always take my recipes to and ask her opinion is my grandma, especially when it comes to tomatoes, because she has always grown tomatoes in her garden and she grows all kinds of fun, you know, different tomatoes and with fun, different names. And, um, I made this salsa for her and she loved it. She had no idea that I used canned tomatoes. All right. So it's that good. It is. And so I have our fresh cilantro or cilantro. Um, this is Southwest Chipotle seasoning. And I um, use about three uh, teaspoons. All right. So, and this little guy is part of our clearly elegant line. Yes, that uh, Jenny was talking about. This is actually our counterscape so it comes in a set of two which is pretty awesome um so you can put two different spices in there uh or you can put in there candies or other little snacks so we have in here now everything right so we have our white onion our red tomatoes and our pepper and garlic we're just going to do this a few more times and we have a beautiful salsa. It's so, so good. All right. I am going to also take our um, ice prism set here. This is our hostess set. And once you put your yummy food in here, it looks even more beautiful. And so when you're having those summer get togethers, um, take, take your hostess set, right? Take your, your ice prisms, put your beautiful, um, salsa or, uh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? How yummy that looks. All right. It is really yummy. And then we're going to take our medium bowl. Okay. Um, and we're going to put our blue chips in here. So little tip, when you have a bag of chips, flip it upside down. All right, open from the bottom and then pour them in and you have all of your big, beautiful chips on the top. So all your crumbs go to the bottom and people aren't, um, people are wow. All right, so because look how pretty, look how beautiful that is. So you have your chips, oops, you have your chips and you have your salsa and you have them in these beautiful ice prism um, bowls. And you know what? So this is our hostess set. And all you need to get this set is an average party. An average party is $500. And then you date two parties from your party, which they can come back here because we do this every week. And so the, you, um, your guests can come back here and they can host their own party, right? Um, and it's so much fun because we always have new recipes for you to see, right? And um, try at your own home. Um, and also you can use our plates. So if I want to, I could probably just use one of these chips and scoop up some salsa and then you can serve your food as well. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, plus you also have the pitcher. Okay, so here's here's a little bit. <laughs> I put a scarf in there. Isn't that funny? But it's just so that you can see how pretty your your drinks will be inside your pitcher. 
and it comes with four cups. So you could put um, your punch in here, you could put your maybe adult beverage in here, or you could actually use this too, because this would be so pretty to have your parfait in as well. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Love these prisms. They remind me of um, my mom's old cups. You know, okay, so she had, I don't even, I don't know. That was a long time ago, but I remember growing up with these small cups and then there was these large cups and they kind of looked, they kind of looked prism, prism y Is that a word? I don't know. I just made it up. Maybe, maybe not. But they had different colors and they were really pretty and they were so fun. And we just, we used them all the time. Do you have any of those cups at home? I love Tupperware and I love all these memories that I have from when I was a child. And um, we just, we're creating memories all the time, right? So create some more memories with your family and your friends with some fun new Tupperware products. All right, back to you, Pam. All right. All right, so we had a trivia question. Does anybody have the answer, Jenny? Yes. Who has the answer? Denise Stevens, and I think she did it. Oh, <laughs> Denise, that's okay. You're a smart cookie. All right, so there's over 20,000. That is a lot of edible flowers. Yum. And they're so pretty when you make a salad and you add some edible flowers. They're so pretty. You always are like skeptical. I'm like, what? I'm going to eat those daisies. Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right. And so, so pretty. All right. So now we want to jump back to Robin. Robin, are you ready for us? We want to see your dessert. Is it ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Now you asked me very last minute to make an edible flower. So I tried to make the middle look like a flower, but I don't know if it does, but I don't know if you can see the flowers on, I don't want to tip it. You see my flower, my stars on the side. And there you go. That's my red, white, and blue trifle. All right, so we need a number between, how many people do we have on right now, Jessica? Hi everyone, I love the chat. It's so much fun. We have 31 on. Woo! All right, 31. That is awesome. And so, hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and 31. Here's a number between one and 31. It's 23. 23. All right, number 23 is Lily with Heather Blackwell. Congratulations, Lily. All right, Lily, congratulations. And Heather, thank you for inviting Lily. And so, guys, we want you to come every single week. Every single Tuesday at 8 o'clock, we're back here giving away free Tupperware. You'll get to see recipes and cooking ideas, and you always get to see what the host program is and what your hostess are getting right now. We have some really cool deals. We have that beautiful ice cream set that you saw Amy show. And we also have a host bonus that ends this week, and that is our brand new glassware. So if you don't know anything about it yet, tell your Tupperware lady, I need to know about more about that Tupperware glass because she can help you really quickly get a free set of that blue, gorgeous glassware. And when we do release it, you might want to tell her, hey, let me know when that's for sale, because I'm ready to go ahead and check out and have a party during that time, because I don't think it'll be too long before they actually put it on the market for us to be selling it. So how fun will that be? And it's revolutionary. It goes into the freezer and it goes into the oven and it works in the countertop and it works in the refrigerator. Wow and the oven it's crazy so you know tupperware you always have to do one more one up on, on anything any other product out there so it is revolutionary neat product and has a tupperware seal yay our hostesses are able to get that with a small copay with a 350 dollars party so make sure if you're a host that you figure out which one you want because you can get red lip cup red covers or blue covers and get that two-piece set right all right and so next we want to do another trivia question and that is, where is the biggest 4th of July celebration? Where in the U.S. is, well, it has to be U.S., <laughs> uh, the 4th of July celebration? Put it in the chat. We want to see who knows that. All right. And next, we're going to turn it over to, uh, are you next, Jenny? I am. Jenny's coming back up for her next recipe. And Jenny is one of our directors as well. And you know what? She is dynamic. She has five daughters. Can you even imagine? So she's really used to cooking. And here we go, Jenny. Bring it on down in my kitchen. Here we go. I am still in her kitchen. Look at that. 
So I am still talking about these clearly elegant products because I still love them, okay? Um, and one of the things that I love a lot is our cold brew. Um, you can do cold brew coffee in this, you can do iced tea, you can do lemonade, you can do uh, fruit infused water. And I think that's one of the things that we forget whenever you have this is that because it's called cold brew does not mean that's the only thing you can use it for. It is a beautiful pitcher if you're just using, you know, like if you have um, just lemonade or something like that, you can put it in here and you can use it outside to pour into your glasses. Now I'm gonna make a watermelon strawberry smoothie, which sounded amazing to me, which is why I'm making it, right? Um, and again, the fridge smarts. And somebody said to me one day, well, you guys all use those fridge smarts. You all talk about the fridge smarts. Exactly. We all use them. We all love them. Um, they save everyone so much money and they're just fantastic. They stack great in the refrigerator. Um, this watermelon, we've had four minutes, okay? And I am going to put it again in the supersonic and yep, Amy just used it, but you know what else? When we use these on the cooking shows, the more people that you see use it, the more you realize you have to have it because it has more than one use. And everybody that has it continues to use it like every day. These are everyday products in our kitchens. Um, and we have some strawberries, right? And put those in there. And a third of a cup of orange juice. That's it. Again, so healthy. And people that know me are probably like, really? Fruit and granola? Healthy drink? Yeah, that's, that's not necessarily me, but I'm trying, guys. And it's summer, and this is a nice, cool drink. Um, I have been told that you could also add an adult beverage to this if you wanted to make it taste a little different. But for right now, we're just going with the strawberries and um, the watermelon. Sometimes when I go to put this on, it just will not play the game with me. So we're going to do it this way. Here we go. Will you get me the other top? Do you have the right top? I don't know. That I might not have the right top. That's a distinct possibility. Nope. This is why I'm in her kitchen. Who knew 
Did we have anybody that knew that? Jenny's looking. I'm looking, right. I'm looking, I'm looking. Jenny, Johnny, same. Jenny, Johnny, Johnny. Johnny. So why, why we're looking for that? How many states yeah. have legal fireworks? How many states in the United States have legal fireworks? That's an interesting one. I wonder if anybody's going to get that one. All right. And so tonight we've had a great night. We've had lots of recipes. We've had some really, really yummy. That uh, parfait that she made is so pretty. This looks amazing. And who doesn't love that salsa? And I have to tell you guys that salsa is delicious. I know Amy told you her mom there loved it. We love it too. Do we have a winner on that? Uh, the closest thing we have is Jen Bell said the United States. The United States. <laughs> That's good, Jen. The largest celebration is actually in um, uh, the Macy's Fireworks, and it's their 43rd year. Who knew, right? Uh, so I guess that's Macy's in New York, Macy's Fireworks in New York. I would think Washington, D.C. should have the biggest one. They should fight for that. They should try harder. <laughs> All right. And then, um, the, um, the, did anybody answer the fire, uh, who legal fireworks? No, How many states have trying. legal fireworks? Anybody get close? Uh, David and Kathy are close with 46. 46 is close, but not right. All right. Actually, the answer is 48. Now you're going to love this for the 4th of July parties because you're going to have new trivia. And guess what? <laughs> the states that do not have legal fireworks that only allow sparklers is ohio vermont and illinois and then massachusetts you can't have anything all right they're really like one of the first they'd be like that i don't know so we need to fix that too all right so was that not fun tonight i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you take the freedom to join our team because if you want to join our team for just 25 dollars down we'd love to have you and that's the try and see for a buyer's club only if you'd like to join our team because you're a little more serious and you'd like to have some trouble with that, you can do the $45 kit. And certainly that would be this set of bowls, this and that wonderful product that we put over there <laughs> with the mix, all right? And then, of course, all of this is the grand prize kit, and it's $450 of Tupperware, and your cost is only $119. So it's really the smartest option to go with. But you know what, the try and see, it's totally up to you. If you like it, you want to stay with it, stay. If you don't like it, you don't have to stay. But remember, there's no annual fee. You don't have to do anything of that. You, uh, are, once you're in, you're in until you choose not to, uh, to place orders or anything like that. And then eventually you file the system. But that's totally okay. We'll always welcome you back. So let me ask you something. What if you invested $119 and made a six-figure income? You know, you might be sitting there thinking, what? Yeah, what? I have to tell you, I've been in Tupperware for 39 years, and I absolutely love this job. And yes, I make six figures. And yes, I drive a free company car. My husband retired 12 years ago, and he's been working with me full time since then. And that's pretty substantial. You know what? What if that was your dream? What if that happened for you? What if you came in and just got a great price of everything in your kitchen? That's why I joined. I just couldn't afford everything I wanted. And I thought, well, I might as well join and go ahead and get a discount. That's perfectly okay. If that's what you want to do, we're perfectly okay with that. What if? Just ask yourself tonight, what if? You could do the 25, the 45, or the 119. But what if it was something that could turn around into something substantial for you? Right now, one of the smartest things you could do is have a home-based business for your uh, purposes of writing off of your taxes and benefiting your family. So it's certainly something we'd love to have you be part of our team. Now I'm looking for our host and guest grand prizes. And so how many guests do we have, host and guests do we have on tonight right now, Jen, Jessica? We have seven hosts and 28 guests. Woo all right. So hey, Alexa, give me a random number between one and 28 for our guest grand prize. Here's something I found on the web. No. Hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and twenty-eight. Here's a number between one and twenty-eight. It's twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right, number twenty-four is Sharon with Robin. Congratulations, Sharon and Robin. Hey, Sharon and Robin, you did so good tonight. Enjoy your demo so much and share your. Yeah, <coughs> we are looking for our hostess and the hostess that's going to win our host grand prize tonight. And so, hey Alexa, give me a random number between one and seven. 
Here's a number between one and seven. It's seven. Seven! Lucky seven! Yay! So that was Sherry that checked in with Sherry Stefan. So congratulations! All right, Sherry and Sherry Stefan, congratulations. That is awesome. And you know what? You can have another chance to win right here next week on Tuesday, every single week, 8 o'clock, same place, same time. All right. We'd love to have you. Welcome to our company as far as uh, getting on every single week. It'd be awesome to have you. And you never know. What if? Just want to remind you. What if? All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.